All right, now once we have determined whether we're working with functions or not, and um, we are going to be working with functions for the most part in this college algebra class, but it would become tedious and too time consuming if we had to check every single graph to make sure that it was a function before we did anything else. Okay, we have some new notation that's going to take care of that for us. You know, previously we've looked at this problem before, this y equals 2x plus 3. We're going to be using that same exact um, equation and equations like it over and over and over again. This is actually a function. If we were to graph 2x plus 3, that would be, you know, a line right that would have as its y-intercept it would be a 3 and then to find the other points you'd have to go up 2 and over 1 and continue doing that. So if we were to draw that line this passes the vertical line test. It is a function. Because it's a function instead of saying y equals we're going to use this new notation of f of x equals 2x plus 3 this function or this notation function notation tells you automatically this whole entire thing is a function and in fact it's a function where x is the variable so every time we see f of x that's going to tell us automatically this is a function and my variable happens to be x now we could see it written different ways. It could be a g of x. Again, that means this is a function where x is our variable. It could be h of c. Again, this is just standard notation. It means that this is a function, but in this case, c will be my variable. This letter inside here is going to ensure you that that's the only variable that you see in that equation. All right, now once we understand that and what the new notation is, now we're going to be able to evaluate some functions, okay? So here we have a function. This is our um, generic one here, or our, our um, pattern that we're going to be using. This says f of x equals negative 2x squared plus x minus 1. Now for this first one we're going to do, it says they want us to do the f of negative 1. Well, now remember, if this is the notation that says this is a function where the variable is x, then wouldn't it kind of make sense that this says, okay, now we're going to look at that function, but instead of x, we're going to use negative 1. That's exactly what it means. So I'm going to replace the x with a negative 1 everywhere I see it in that original equation. So now we have negative 1 squared would be a positive 1 times negative 2 would be negative 2 and then plus a minus 1 would be minus 1 minus 1 and when we clean that up negative 2 minus 1 minus 1 is negative 4. So the f of negative 1 is negative 4.